What's up, YouTube? This is Battletech Beats bringing you the iPad tutorial for Beatmaker 2 importing, looping, and chopping your own samples. Let's get started. All right, um, first thing you want to do hit the home button, go over here, hit the little icon right here. And you want to hit iPod import. Boom. It's going to bring up your iPod. All your songs. You can back up a little bit. It's going to bring up your whole iTunes library. I already know what I want to bring in here. I'm going to do a little earth, wind, and fire. Keep your head to the sky. I'm going to go ahead and load this in. Turn it back. Save it. Give it a name. It's going to import. Depending on how long the song is, you know, that's how long it's going to take to load. This is an iPad 1, so, you know, it's going to take a little longer. If you got an iPad 2, it'll be real quick. And this is going to probably tell me that the uh, song is too big. So, I'm just going to, I just want the beginning part of the song. So, I'm going to highlight that part of the track and export it so we can go ahead and chop it. I didn't say it so I'm gonna go back up here go to your sample button open sample and then you just go back to what you just brought in so we look for keep your head to the sky boom right here you can hit the audition button in the corner and go ahead and hit load yeah like I said the song's too long so just hit OK. I only want the beginning part, so I'm going to just extract that part and get rid of the rest. Again, give it a name. Uh, we're going to call this guy. Hello? Uh, All right. So it's just got done extracting the beginning part of that song, which is all I want because I just want a little guitar riff. All right, if you want to audition what you just extracted, go right up here, hit the little play button in the corner. Not this play button, this plays the track. We don't want that, we want to play the wave, so. All right, anyway, so that's that. Um, down here at the bottom, you got all your, your controls, you can navigate so you can slide around a sample without messing up your location and you got select which is what we want to use right now I'm going to zoom in real quick and find the part that I want to loop up and then so we can move on to the chopping Got, got our loop right up here. Copy, trim, delete. You want to go ahead and trim everything out so you left with just your loop. This shouldn't take too long. Okay. All right, so we're back and it's done trimming off all the excess. We'll play it again and make sure it's right before we start chopping. <laughs> One important thing about looping and chopping, a lot of people inbox me saying that they can't get their loops to sound right or loop right or chop right. And that's because you, I've seen, you know, people try to loop something from the middle of the loop. You know, you got four bars and you're supposed to start at one. Some people start recording at three and then go three, four, two, one. 
and then try to, no, nah, it don't work like that. Start at one and, and just ride out to four, you know. So, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Boom. So, we ready to chop this up. So, let's go ahead and save this in the bottom corner right here. You hit save, boom. We're going to save as. Give the name. Let's see here. Uh, we're gonna name it A A A A A A so we can get to it real quick for demo purposes. This is something real quick. We can go ahead and trash the rest of that. Um, let's go ahead and hit hit the plus and add a new drum machine. Hit X to come out of there, and let's go ahead and let's see. Didn't, okay, here it is. Boom. All right. Now you want to go to the chop lab. Look for A A A A. Okay, that's it. All right. And chopping is very simple. Sometimes I like to just hit play and touch the screen where you want the chops to fall. So just watch the wave and drop in your chops. And don't worry if you mess up because you can fix it just by sliding it to play. And you just... a preview and next to preview the chop but for demo purposes I'm going to undo all of these chops and I'm just going to do the lazy way for right now and show you the auto chop button. Auto chop, boom. We want to set the number of slices or the number of chops. We want to set it to 16. Or you can set it to, you know, however you want to. Get. Boom. Uh, and I trust that's right. This auto chop does a pretty good job of spreading it across the 16 pads. And once you got your chop set, just hit the X and create preset you got a couple different options up here if you don't you know, want to mess with those if you want to but for the most part create preset save it give it a name load it your chops in there. And once you get it in there, then you can play around with the different pitches, hit the tune fork, then touch multi, and then like I just did, I highlighted all the pads at the same time, boom, change the sit, you know, change the pitch. Go back in, slow it down. I know that sounds crazy, but you know, this is just to show y'all it's very easy to get it in there. But uh, 
you know, that's pretty much it as far as getting it in and Alright, so that's pretty much it, you know, as far as importing your own sample, looping it, chopping it, and adding it to your beat. You know, like I said, this is something real quick, quick and easy. Y'all can get on there and experiment and do whatever you want to do after that. So, you know, that's it for me. You know, you can subscribe, like, comment. You know, you got any questions, just, you know, holler at me, I'll get right back at you. Alright, Battletech signing out. Peace.